Since the dawn of time, humanity has sought to extend its reach, to amplify its will. From a thrown stone to a guided missile, the story of warfare is inexorably linked to the evolution of the projectile. It is a relentless, often dark pursuit of a single goal, lethality. Join us as we journey through millennia of ingenuity, transforming simple objects into devastating forces. This is the evolution of Deadliest Rounds. For hundreds of thousands of years, the human hand was the primary weapon. But soon, our ancestors realized that extending their reach meant enhancing their power. The earliest projectiles were born of necessity, the hunt, self-defense, and intertribal conflict. The fundamental principle was simple, transfer kinetic energy to a target. The sharpened stone or flint head, whether hurled, lashed to a spear, or wielded as an axe, represented the first dedicated attempt at maximizing damage through concentrated force and sharp edges. Its effectiveness lay in the craftsmanship the ability to create a point designed for penetration, meticulously flaked to create razor-sharp edges capable of severing muscle and bone. Early spears, tipped with these carefully fashioned stones, could bring down large game or deter rival tribes at a safer distance than direct melee combat. But true ranged combat was revolutionized by the arrow. More than just a simple shaft, the arrow became an engineering marvel. Different arrowheads were crafted for specific purposes. The wide, razor-sharp broadhead for devastating tissue damage and massive hemorrhage, designed for hunting and anti-personnel use. In contrast, the narrow, armor-piercing bodkin point was specifically designed to punch through hardened hides or primitive armor, such as hardened leather or early chainmail. It was an elegant system, converting stored potential energy in the bow into precise, directed force, allowing hunters and warriors to engage targets with unprecedented accuracy and impact from a significant distance. The ability to launch multiple arrows rapidly changed the dynamics of ancient skirmishes. Another unsung hero of antiquity was the sling bullet. Starting as simple stones often selected for their aerodynamic shape, these projectiles evolved into specially molded clay and, most lethally, cast lead. The dense aerodynamic lead slug, propelled at remarkable speeds sometimes exceeding 100 miles per hour, could deliver a concussive blow far beyond what an unassisted arm could achieve. Roman slingers, for instance, were renowned for their precision and the devastating force of their lead glands, which could shatter bones and inflict skull fractures at surprising ranges. It was a silent, deadly force multiplier, effective at surprising ranges, proving that even a small object given enough velocity and density could be a formidable weapon. For millennia, the maximum kinetic energy a projectile could deliver was limited by the strength of the human arm or the tensile power of a bow. But in distant lands, whispers of a new volatile substance began to emerge a substance that would fundamentally shatter these limitations and forever redefine warfare, a black powder poised to ignite a revolution. Then that black powder changed everything. Originating in ancient China, the invention of gunpowder unleashed a new era of ballistic destruction. No longer were projectiles reliant solely on human strength. Now, they harnessed the explosive power of chemistry, a force that could propel projectiles with previously unimaginable power. The cannonball was the harbinger of this new age. These massive, heavy spheres delivered overwhelming blunt force, capable of shattering stone walls, demolishing gatehouses, and tearing through dense ranks of soldiers with horrifying efficiency. Fortifications that had stood for centuries crumbled before its raw power. Early cannons were crude, prone to misfire and cumbersome, but their sheer destructive potential was undeniable. It was a weapon of mass destruction for its time changing the very nature of siege warfare and forcing armies to rethink defensive strategies. Handheld firearms soon followed, most notably the musket. Its projectile, the simple musket ball, was often a rough cast lead sphere. Lacking the precision we expect today, it compensated with sheer volume and devastating close-range impact. Soldiers formed lines firing massive volleys that created a deadly storm of lead, tearing through enemy formations. 
Despite its limitations in accuracy and range compared to the precision of a trained archer, the musket's ease of training and widespread adoption meant armies could deliver an unprecedented volume of fire, making it the dominant infantry weapon for centuries. For close quarters devastation, particularly against charging cavalry or dense infantry formations, soldiers often loaded what was known as buck and ball. This lethal combination involved a standard musket ball packed with several smaller buckshot pellets. The result was a devastating shotgun-like effect, turning a single shot into a spread of multiple projectiles, virtually guaranteeing hits at close range and leaving a horrific impact on the enemy. It was a brutal testament to the gunpowder era's desire for overwhelming force. The Industrial Revolution didn't just build factories, it redefined warfare. Mass production, combined with scientific innovation, transformed ballistic principles, ushering in an age of precision and velocity that moved beyond the raw, unrefined power of early gunpowder. Perhaps no single advancement was as revolutionary as rifling. Helical grooves meticulously cut into the gun barrel that impart a stabilizing spin to the projectile, much like a quarterback throws a football. This simple yet profound change was perfectly complemented by the mini ball. This ingenious conical lead bullet with its hollow base expanded slightly when fired, gripping the rifling firmly. The result was unprecedented accuracy and greatly extended range compared to smoothbore muskets, effectively turning the individual soldier into a far more lethal and precise threat. The American Civil War stands as a grim testament to its devastating effectiveness where engagements at hundreds of yards became commonplace. But loading individual bullets and powder charges was slow and cumbersome in the heat of battle. The answer arrived in the form of the centerfire cartridge. This ingenious invention combined the bullet, the propellant powder, and the primer into a single self-contained brass unit. This allowed for rapid loading, reliable ignition, and introduced repeatable ballistic performance. Calibers like the powerful 45. 70 government developed in the United States became synonymous with military and frontier expansion, proving incredibly effective against both enemy combatants and large game. The advent of metallic cartridges made repeating firearms practical, accelerating the rate of fire even further. The true leap in velocity, however, came with smokeless powder. Invented in the late 19th century, this revolutionary propellant burned far more efficiently and cleanly than black powder. Gone were the dense plumes of black smoke that obscured battlefields and gave away positions, replaced by a much fainter haze. Smokeless powder burned more powerfully, propelling smaller, lighter jacketed bullets at previously unthinkable speeds. These high-velocity rifle bullets, exemplified by early Mauser and Krag rounds used by militaries worldwide, maintained their energy over greater distances, flattening trajectories, and making long-range engagements far more deadly and accurate than ever before. This new era of ballistics transformed infantry combat, extending the killing zone and emphasizing marksmanship. The 20th and 21st centuries have witnessed an explosion in ammunition specialization. Modern warfare demands rounds designed for specific threats and objectives, pushing the boundaries of material science and terminal ballistics to unprecedented levels. Workhorse calibers like the 3006 Springfield and its NATO successor, the 7.62 by 51 mm NATO, or 308 Winchester, defined power and versatility for much of the last century. These full-power rifle rounds offered excellent range, superior penetration and devastating energy, forming the backbone of infantry rifles, machine guns and sniper systems across countless battlefields. Their heavy bullets carried immense kinetic energy, designed to reliably incapacitate targets at significant distances. However, tactical considerations shifted with the advent of intermediate cartridges like the 5.56x45mm NATO or 223 Remington, and the iconic 7.62x39mm of the AK-47. While delivering less energy per shot than their full-power counterparts, these rounds allowed soldiers to carry significantly more ammunition and fire at much higher rates from lighter, more controllable automatic weapons. This facilitated the era of the assault rifle, transforming infantry engagements into faster, more dynamic affairs, prioritizing volume of fire and maneuverability. Against hardened targets, specialized ammunition emerged, 
designed to defeat increasing levels of protection. Armor piercing, or AP, rounds feature a hardened penetrator core, often made of dense materials like tungsten carbide or steel, encased in a softer jacket. These rounds are engineered to defeat ballistic protection, from advanced body armor to light vehicle plating, concentrating immense kinetic energy on a tiny point to literally punch through defenses. Conversely, rounds like the hollow point are engineered for maximum energy transfer within a soft target. Their hollowed out tip causes them to expand dramatically and rapidly on impact, creating a much larger wound channel and quickly dissipating their energy within the target. While often restricted in military use due to international conventions, they are widely favored by law enforcement and hunters for their effectiveness in rapidly stopping a threat or humanely taking game. And for engagements at extreme distances, the quest for precision led to massive highly specialized calibers like the 338 Lapua Magnum and the legendary 50 BMG. These cartridges propel heavy, finely engineered bullets at incredible velocities, allowing snipers to deliver lethal force with surgical accuracy, often over a mile away. The sheer kinetic energy of a .50 BMG round can incapacitate vehicles, destroy hardened equipment, and eliminate personnel at ranges previously unimaginable, making it a truly formidable weapon system. The relentless pursuit of lethality continues, pushing the boundaries of physics and engineering beyond the conventional bullet. The future of projectiles may look very different from the cartridges we know today, moving into realms previously reserved for science fiction. Imagine ammunition that thinks. Guided projectiles, or smart bullets, are already in development. These miniature marvels incorporate sensors and tiny control surfaces, allowing them to correct their own trajectory mid-flight, ensuring a hit even against moving targets or in challenging environmental conditions. This takes surgical precision to an unprecedented level, transforming the very concept of marksmanship. Beyond chemical propellants, the next frontier lies in raw electromagnetic power. High-energy density projectiles propelled by rail guns or coil guns promise hypervelocity impacts, delivering devastating kinetic energy without a traditional explosive. A simple metallic slug accelerated to many times the speed of sound by powerful electromagnetic forces becomes an unstoppable force, capable of tearing through even advanced defenses with pure, unadulterated momentum. These systems offer the potential for unparalleled range and destructive power. And perhaps the very concept of a round will ultimately evolve away from physical projectiles entirely. Directed energy rounds, whether powerful lasers or particle beams, could represent the ultimate progression, delivering instantaneous, silent, and potentially limitless destructive power at the speed of light. The projectile, as we've known it for millennia, might one day become a relic of the past, replaced by pure energy, marking the end of one evolution and the beginning of another. From a simple stone hurled in anger to complex self-guiding munitions of the future, the deadliest rounds have constantly evolved. Each advancement, born of human ingenuity and a relentless drive to gain an edge, has profoundly altered the landscape of conflict, pushing the boundaries of speed, accuracy and destructive power beyond what was previously imaginable. This journey isn't just a tale of technology, it's a profound reflection of humanity itself. Our relentless drive to innovate, to overcome, to dominate. But as we continue to refine these instruments of lethality, creating ever more effective means of projection, we are left to ponder the ultimate question. What does this ceaseless evolution truly mean for the future of warfare, and indeed, for the future of humanity itself?